Right, afternoon all. Um, I'd just like to thank Mike Hatswell for kicking me up the ball and uh, getting me to do a bit of an update on where we're up to with the van. Um, it was completed, the, the inside was completed just before Christmas um, and we've tried it out by going down to Wales for the month as most of you know, uh, we took Clementine in the back um, so yeah, I just thought we'd uh, have a look at it now it's, uh, so we have the side windows fitted and the headlining up um, as I mentioned on my other video the underneath the uh, all the panelling there is uh, like a self-adhesive foil which prevents damp and then it's got bubble wrap and then um, like a bubble wrap insulation and then synthetic wool uh, and it's really cozy really toasty um, they're, the, they're, they're the two of the three seats um, that we bought out of a Ford Tornio uh, we as we intended to do, we've taken the middle seat out so that we can just run the bike straight in, up the ramps, straight in. Originally I had this the, the chop right up against the bulkhead but it meant that the exhaust on Clementine was fouling that seat so just by pulling it away that much has brought it back and now it's not a problem. Um, these seats are brilliant, they, uh, I don't know if I can do it one-handed but they you can do that, down that goes, make use of that, and then by moving this lever here, it goes like that as well. Just just goes nicely upright. Uh, these, like I say, after, that's it. Uh, they've got their own armrests, and they also recline as well. Really good, really good, really happy. Um, the flooring, uh, it's had plywood, and then it's had this very hard uh, layer put on the top um, works really well uh, like I say we had the bulkhead removed uh, retaining the bottom half of the bulkhead and they put a nice little thing there just to get away from the sharp edge yeah and then we go around the back for these fancy ramps then there you go um, now originally I just had one ramp uh, and I was using the caravan steps to climb into the van. That didn't really work. Um, because it's a low roof van, uh, your hands are sort of like really high up. So it just, it just, just didn't work. So uh, then I got another ramp to go next to the single ramp so that I could walk up the ramp. But it followed a different line. It, the, the, the bike ramp had a bit of a steep step in it and the other one was just straight up. And that was okay worked better but it still it still went right it was, it was worse when we come to get the bike off the back it was a bit precarious so I bit the bullet and I bought this set of three um, it weren't cheap but it's, it's cheaper than dropping the bike isn't it and what I've done to make it because because of these the steps here as we're coming up I was worried about slipping my foot down so um, today I've just put this run of carpet tile up so now it's not a problem straight up don't have to worry about anything and obviously the bike then just rides in straight in into the wheel chart there uh, when we do that these carpets these uh, mats will be at the sides things will be different when we go camping like the awning won't be sitting there and whatever with the fridge on top of it so uh, yeah job well done I'm happy with that uh, and the other day I fitted the a little we have a table top, um, fitted that to the wall with the, the door, that's our piece, not going anywhere, solid, yeah, really, really, really happy, it's, uh, uh, when we went to Wales it was great, and um, we've got some rugs there for anyone sitting in the back, could put over the knees or something if it's feeling cold, but when we were in Wales we went to uh, Barmouth and a couple of other places with uh, a brother and sister-in-law, and Anne and Sheila were sitting in the back and they said it was lovely and warm, absolutely fine. 
it would help obviously because of all the insulation so um, yeah really really pleased so yeah that's the update um, I'd say these ramps really happy really 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 happy with these ramps yeah they're really good so uh, oh and they they've got a to clamp them together they've got these here you can see that like that there's like a clip that goes underneath there to hold that in place so they can't move they can't go anywhere over there and then we've got the strap here that secures it to the van so that can't move when the bike goes up the ramp so we've got four of those clamps two at the bottom two at the top perfect happy days just need to get to find somewhere to go now anyway so there you are thanks for watching um so that's the update and pretty much it now really apart from putting a few hooks here and there to, to uh, hold my motorbike gear um, I have got some temporary ones on the uh, um, headrests um, but I'm not sure how, how effective they're going to be they seem a bit weak really but uh, yeah anyway so there you go so thanks Mike for kicking me up the gun and um, I hope you like it it's, uh, we're, we're happy with it now we're really happy so all right thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll be out on the bike again soon uh today would have been ideal but i wanted to get those ramps done so uh, uh but it's bloody cold so anyway yeah thanks for watching bye for now <laughs>